What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another tutorial. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mark Webster. I make tutorials here on YouTube all about filmmaking, photography, and editing. And today I got a very fun episode for you guys. We're gonna do mobile photography tips. I got a brand new phone here and the quality is insane. So I'm gonna walk through my favorite tips to improve your mobile photography. Tip number one is gonna be make sure that your camera is clean. These things get so dirty in your pocket or your backpack. So check the camera. If there's any fingerprints or oil, use a t-shirt or microfiber cloth just to make sure it's clean before you start shooting. So tip number two is gonna be check your settings in your phone. It's pretty incredible what phones can shoot these days. The setting you wanna look for is RAW. So what RAW allows is that it captures all the information coming from the sensor, all the exposure information, all the color information. And then when you get into the post-processing side of things, you can do so much more with your images and improves the overall image quality. So I use the Huawei P40 Pro, which has the world's best smartphone camera. It is seriously incredible and the best that I've used. It can shoot up to 50 megapixel raw images, which is super impressive. So if you shoot in JPEG, you're not gonna have as much image quality as when you shoot in raw. You have so much more flexibility when it comes to post-production and it's definitely gonna be a setting that you have to shoot with on your smartphone. What's amazing about the Huawei P40 Pro is it has three different cameras, the Ultra Vision 50 megapixel resolution camera, a wider ultra wide camera, and then a telephoto lens as well. And all these cameras produce amazing image quality and allow you to shoot and rot. The camera was designed with Leica and it's seriously the best smartphone that you can use for mobile photography. What's super cool about shooting on your phone is the ability to shoot macro shots and it actually does a better job than what your camera can do. And all phones are like this. When I shoot some details like pine needles or fresh fallen snow, and it's super impressive how closely your phone can actually focus. So I'm gonna shoot some pine needles and I'll show you how cool these images look. What's super impressive about mobile phones is how much dynamic range it can actually capture. And this isn't off the sensor. It uses some software technology, but I can shoot right into the sun right now and still capture beautiful images and detail in the highlights. What's crazy with mobile phones is where you can take them because they're so small and they fit in your pocket. Whether you're on a hike or traveling, they can really come with you anywhere. We came to this beautiful suspension bridge, so we're gonna find some cool compositions using leading lines. Leading lines is a great way to make a super beautiful image and something that really captures the audience's attention. We have these beautiful lines right here. I'm gonna get a little bit lower to capture the depth of the bridge. Check it out. Because phones are so small, it's really easy to get them a little bit crooked. So when you're shooting with mobile phones, you really wanna make sure your horizon lines are perfectly straight. Having a straight horizon line can be the difference between a great photo and a throwaway photo. So another tip when you're shooting landscapes especially is to try and have a sense of scale in your shot. This really helps show off how epic a scene is. So for this, I'm gonna set up the Huawei P40 on a tripod and I'm gonna actually shoot this myself by triggering it with the Huawei GT2 Pro. This watch has been incredible for all my adventures and having the remote trigger allows me to shoot photos by myself. That is all the mobile photography tips I have for you guys today. Hopefully you learned something new and can take these tips to improve your mobile photography. If you guys are interested in more information about the Watch GT2 Pro or the Huawei P40 Pro, the world's best smartphone camera, I'm gonna leave some links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.